Welcome back to another video. Today, um, I've got my coffee. I have my list and what's on this list? Well, you probably know from the title of the video, but what we're gonna do today is we are going to look at my life in photos. I've been serving looks since 1997. Some better than others, I will say. I'm a big enough man to admit that. Some, uh, you know, you swing a bat, you swing a bat at a ball a hundred times, you're bound to miss. If you're me, you're bound to miss 99 out of those hundred times. Uh, if you're a professional, you're probably gonna hit like most of the times, but yeah, for me, I think I missed the ball 99 out of 100 times. I feel like that's a pretty good metaphor for uh, what we're gonna get into today. Uh, there's gonna be some stories along the way. There's gonna be some cute little pictures of young me along the way. My first Facebook profile picture is gonna be on here. How about that? Stick around, we're gonna light this thing up. I've got a list right here of all the pictures in order. We're gonna start when I was a kid. I got some Furbies on the table as well. I don't know if you noticed, like you probably did, it's hard not to, but like, I, I decorated. I made I made a backdrop today. I was just like hanging around and I was like, I can pretty this up a little bit. At the very least, I'll give you guys something to look at. If it's not pretty, at the very least, it's uh, something to enjoy. I got my little Furbies out here. I have my lava lamp going. Now it's glooping like crazy. It was worth the wait, in my opinion. I have this this these dying flowers that um, I forgot to water and now they're dying, but they still look okay. They look good enough. They'll be dead in two days. They'll be dead in two days. That's the cycle of, of life. And then I have this plant that I've consistently watered and it's stayed pretty okay. There's a couple of times where it like came close to dying, but I brought it back to life. Some would call me a hero. All right, let's get into this. So this is the first photo. This is me and my family, excluding my dad as kids. Uh, that's my brother picking his nose there. That's Mia, just like mortified looking over at my brother. Film's not cheap, Eli. Not much to say about that one. I would say more, but I don't really remember. I don't even remember what house that was taken in. So uh, uh, next picture is this photo of my family on vacation. They buried me in this sand it started to hurt a lot because like the pressure on like my feet of all the way to the sand was like really starting to hurt and they just kept on like putting beach toys on me like that bucket on my head and I was like I'll smile for your pictures but just know I'm I'm in agony right now my legs are really hurting that's the story behind that photo that's the story behind that smile a pained smile I forced that out for the picture when me and Mia talk about our old dog Scooby who tragically passed away he was our family dog for a really long time and he he just, he took on so many forms throughout his life. Like there were so many different versions of him. Like in this picture, I don't even recognize him. Like he doesn't look like himself in this image. We always lovingly refer to this era of Scooby as the alien era because he looks like extraterrestrial. Like we don't know who that dog is. Feels to me like my parents switched the dog. Like maybe he like passed away like years and years and years ago. And like my parents thought that we couldn't handle it. So they like switched him without telling us and we're just like, yeah, oh, it's the same dog. And we're just like, it's the same dog. That's so nice. Alert, alert, Facebook, first Facebook profile picture, alert, alert, alert. I got Facebook when I was in the seventh grade. I had to twist my parents' arm to let me have it because it was basically like that thing that everybody was like, it's dangerous for kids to have Facebook. Like it's, it's bad. It's ruining tomorrow's youth. I got Facebook in the seventh grade. I remember the day well. I went to school and my friends were like hanging out in the hallway and I like went up to them and I was just like, I got Facebook last night. And they high, like they all like high fived me. They were like, "That's the sickest dude. That's so rad." They like lifted me up and like ran me through the halls and were just like, "Take off Facebook, y'all!" And everybody was just like, "That's so tight." And then we were all connected, and I sit at my computer messaging friends. This is my first Facebook profile picture. It was taken outside of a school Halloween dance. Now this was my first school dance that I ever went to. Not only that, but this was the first time I ever slow danced, and that's why I was feeling like such a G afterwards. Somebody like came up to me and was like, hey, like get a photo of you guys. And I was like, I literally like danced. Like I, it was so sick. And uh, then I like decorated like this online. Like I like put all these like symbols on it and like wrote woot on it. The rest is Facebook history. Picture this scenario. You're an adult, you have a child. You have a daughter who's in the seventh grade. You find out she's been chatting with this on Facebook. I forbid you from seeing that boy. That boy is bad news. And then like, it's like me at this age, like outside of their house, like on a motorcycle. And I'm like, hey, come Come on, let's go party. And she like sneaks out and like her dad catches her while I'm like driving off and he's just like, Tate. So that's pretty much what my life was like in the seventh grade. I was kind of like a little greaser boy. I was a greaser, just not in the way that you'd think. I didn't shower enough. 
All right, we are just chewing through these. Next up, another milestone. My very first mirror selfie. This picture was taken with uh, Mia's iPod Touch and uh, me and a friend were like just laughing at this picture like two nights ago when I got the idea to do this video because like this was me trying to be like my hottest. Like I was like, I'm attractive. I'm gonna take this photo and like send it to all my friends. Like I want people to see this and be like, wow. Tate looks good in that. I mean, it's a good photo. The reason I took that picture was because I was wearing a Pink Floyd shirt and I wanted people to like know that I was like in the know. Like I'm like, I like underground music. Pink Floyd, ever heard of them? Bet you haven't. All right, moving on. This next picture has kind of a funny story behind it. When I was in the 11th grade, my wisdom teeth impacted into my jaw and I had to go and get them taken out like pretty much everyone else. I got put out like completely like intravenous, just like fell asleep and then like woke up up. And like the nurses told me that like I kept when I was in like the recovery room They said that like I kept on like grabbing the IV in my arm and like kept on like trying to pull it out and, Like kept on like trying to get up and walk away and I was just like uh, and I don't remember any of it this picture not kidding a hundred pictures just like this on my phone I took so many selfies laying in the bed and I don't remember taking a single one of them And then I uh, hold up in my room and played Starcraft 2 for four days straight This is kind of a funny picture just me chilling chilling in class Friend took it use my my glasses like magnify things a lot So like we found out that you can like put them in front of stuff and like magnify it a ton and uh, we just thought that was funny Now we're moving on to my grad photo. This is when I graduated This was me in grade 12 when I graduated such a charming young man such a bright Beautiful young man. Look, he's he's got so many things ahead of him. He doesn't even realize. They said that we could bring props and like an hour before my photo, I like cut class, drove to the grocery store because I wanted like a big sandwich for my photo. They didn't have any big subs. So I bought just like this loaf of bread. In all of my grad photos, I just like have this loaf of bread. <laughs> my mom was like, no real story behind this picture, just like a, an update. It's like that's how I looked like when I graduated. It's like very lazy, couldn't really grow a full beard yet. This is me, Eli, and Mia all chilling in our living room, having a good time. I was so happy at this time of my life. I was so stoked. I was taking a year off and just like hanging out. I look back fondly on that year. Alrighty, what is next? We've got these pictures from a trip to Hawaii that I took with my mom and dad and Mia. It was like a really fun trip. Like we had a lot of great times on this trip. I still I remember it like very, very well. Here's a nice photo of us just kind of hanging out, my mom and sister and me. It's like loving it. I'm like drinking a milkshake or something and like kind of like trying to like pose for it. They were both clearly ready for this photo and I was just like, not at all. I was like drinking this milkshake, probably a mouthful of food as well. Just like, <laughs> picture. Okay, now this is from that same trip and like if you zoom in on my foot, it's like gross and like has like some sort of paste on it. That paste on my foot is shaving cream. I got such a nasty sunburn on my feet. I like fell asleep with like just my feet out in the sun and they were like bright red like they were burnt so bad I get like such nasty sunburn I read online that if you put like shaving cream on your burns it'll like ease the pain a little bit so like I walked around <laughs> with like shaving cream all over my feet and like people would see me and like look at my feet and just be like look like so grossed out because I had shaving cream all over my feet Mia loves this picture of me because like it's just like I've never felt more like me than I do do in this photo. This is like peak Tate, I think. Just living my life, just getting by. It didn't really work, by the way. Like, it still hurt my feet quite a bit. Now, the only difference was that my feet just had shaving cream on them. Didn't ease the blow much, is what I'm saying. It still hurt quite a bit. Um, here's a picture of me and my family on the coast, chilling at the beach when I moved out for the first time and my family came and visited me and I took this photo with Mia and my dad. I had been away from them for like a few months and like it was really, really great to see them. I really, really like this picture. This was a really nice time in my life. Lots of interesting stories from that time too. I lived in a trailer for a while. Maybe a future video, trailer stories. Let me know if you'd like to see that. It'd be fun. Now I always thought I looked like pretty derpy in this picture, which is like fine. I'll probably never get this chance again and I wish I would have like looked better, but I was like so tired and so sweaty. This was after a Mac DeMarco concert that I saw a few years ago. We like hung around in the alley outside the venue. Before he came out, like a few members of his band came out and they had like a soccer ball and we were just like kicking it back and forth, just like hanging out. Matt came out with his girlfriend and we like went up to him. A few people were like saying like, good show, awesome. I just like went up to him and I was like, hey, great show. Like I didn't want to be a jerk or anything, but like I did want to get like his signature on something. I had like a pair of Vans on and he's like synonymous with Vans. Get him to like maybe throw signature 
signature on this shoe just for fun. He signed my shoe and then after like signing my shoe, I was like, hey man, great show. Shook his hand and he like pulled me in and just like hugged me like so close and like rested his head on like my shoulder. I like felt the bristles of his face like up against my face. And then like, I like look over and his like girlfriend is standing there and she's just like, and I was like, <laughs> nice. Just both done my coffee, just both done my video. <sighs> Gotta get back to Animal Crossing. Jeremiah is my new favorite villager for the longest time. This is like, if you don't like Animal Crossing, skip this part of the video. Wolfgang has always been my favorite villager in Animal Crossing. He's cranky wolf. I love him. I recently met Jeremiah, this little, this lazy little frog. And he just melts my heart. I love him. I love him so much. All right, I took a road trip with my dad and brother two years ago now to go see Pixies in Boston. I saw this sign on the way there that said Springfield. I don't know if this has ever come up before. I have like an encyclopedic knowledge of The Simpsons and I love The Simpsons. I watch it all the time. It's like the only show that I watch pretty much. So anyway, there's like this sign that like said Springfield. Being like the Simpsons nerd that I am, I got like really, really excited. Like I was like, Springfield, that's where The Simpsons are from. And I was like, stop the car. And we like stopped the car and I like got out and like got my dad to like take a bunch of pictures of me being like woo 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 generally just like loving it. This is a pick from last year at around this time, kind of like March, April. My family went to Tokyo. I'm planning another trip to Tokyo, hopefully within the next like one to two years. I love exploring foreign cities. Just like the general aesthetic of like Japanese cities with like the big like power lines. The alleys are just so beautiful. Like everything just looks so cool. And then also last year I backpacked Germany with a few friends. I found this light that said yeet on it and I took a photo with it. That was, I thought that was cool. I liked that a lot. And that's all the photos that I grabbed. Which look was your favorite? Comment down below which look you like the most. There's a lot of looks in there. I've taken on a lot of different forms throughout my life. My personal favorite is the uh, first profile picture era. I really thought I like cracked in to something back then. I was like onto something. Like I should have explored those concepts a little bit more. I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling. I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy in general. Old pictures, so fun to look back on. Good times, good times I tell you. Yeah, but anyway, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video concept. I've got more fun stuff planned in the future. If you think of any ideas, feel free to send them my way. Such genuinely great ideas coming from y'all. So feel free to keep sending those my way. I hope you like my Furbies. I hope you like my lava lamp. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.